But first up tonight, the search is on for a vehicle that was taken by thieves right before this Christmas holiday. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Drew Spire. This all happened in the Cal Allen area on County Road 75. The family was in complete shock when they woke up and found their SUV was gone. Action 10 News reporter Jeremiah Marshall was in the area earlier this evening. He is now live in our studio with more. Yeah, just very shocking. Yeah. And you know, the family says they are not only looking for the vehicle, but also the merchandise inside the car. The car was filled with presents to help one family member have a great Christmas. Now my dad can't go. My dad has to deal with being here when the police show up and everything and the gifts are gone. Jennifer Jones says her father's car was loaded up with presents and ready to head out of town. He was going to see her brother, Drew. Drew loves Christmas. He's 29 years old and has special needs. Currently, Drew is in the hospital getting surgery for kidney concerns in San Benito, and dad was going to surprise him with gifts. Yet, that surprise was stripped away after her father's car was stolen and Drew's gifts now gone. We're not going to, he, he wouldn't understand why it was missing, and, and if he understood they were stolen, he would, you know, he would still be okay. He would be happy. And that's what makes my brother a special, and that's why he's my best friend. I'm sorry. Jones took this theft to social media, alerting the community. The vehicle is described as a white four-door Buick Enclave with an attached trailer hitch. Jennifer says Drew not getting these gifts her father worked so hard to find breaks her heart. It's the fact that those toys took time to find. You can't just walk into a store and think, oh, okay, I'll buy him this. My brother fixes on something that's part of his special needs. He'll fix on a certain character and he'll love that character. And Jones says she will continue to search for the stolen SUV and will do the best she can to make sure her brother has a great Christmas. He would never be, he would never know the feeling hate. And it just makes me sad that my brother doesn't get to see those gifts. Those were, he looks forward to those things. Now the family has filed a police report and they also ask that if you know anything, let officers know right away. In studio, Jeremiah Marshall, Action 10 News.